Hey y'all, guess what? I went ju I just went down to check my mail and it included a bunch of junk which I never look at. And ta-da! My ballot. <laughs> it is time to put in the um work where thou mouth hath been okay so this is the November 5th 2019 ballot uh, let me make sure you can hear me. there official general and special election ballot for King County Washington so um Okay, you can fill out, okay, how to vote, instructions, completely fill in the oval next to your choice, how to correct a mistake, to make a correction, draw a line through the entire choice, you then have the option of making a, <coughs> making a different choice by completely filling in another oval, my wash is done. Optional write-in. To add a new candidate, fill in the oval next to the write-in line and print the name on the write-in line. Begin voting here. So, state referendum measure. Uh, you know, on here, it used to tell you what you could use to fill out um, a ballot. Now they don't do that anymore. So, let me see. Get social with us. Uh, contact information, email, online. If you change your address, returning your ballot. Accessible voting options, replacement ballot. Change your language preference. No stamp needed to return your ballot. Okay. Doesn't say there. Return your ballot at a drop box over 60 locations. Um, who donates the campaigns? View contributors for candidates and measures at the Public Disclosure Commission at the PDC www.pdc.wa.gov and the phone number is 1-877-601-2828. This is the same place that when you're running for office, you have to uh, declare all of your income, revenue, and the sources thereof. When I ran, I... I, I uh, uh, was able to see just how broke I really am <laughs> or was at the time praise God honey trouble don't last always okay so we have for those who need assistance the vote centers are available for voters that need assistance each center has voting machines that offer audio or large print ballots and other assistive devices election staff are available to assist as needed. Voters can also register to vote and get their ballots through Election Day. So at the Bellevue Library, which is one of my favorite libraries, it's very nice. Uh, weekdays. Well, these are the same hours for all three of these locations. Bellevue, Federal Way Library, Kenmore City Hall. So weekdays, October 28th through November 1st, 10 a.m. to 6th. Saturday, November the 2nd, 10 a.m. to 4, Monday, November 4, 10 a.m. to 6, and Tuesday, November 5th, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then these are the hours of operation for these two locations, Renton, King County Elections, and Seattle Elections Annex. Okay. So these two locations are open weekdays October 16th through the 25th 8 30 a.m. to 4 30 p.m. 
weekdays October 28th through November the 1st, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, Saturday, November 2nd, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday, November 4th, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Tuesday, November, November 5th, 8.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. And I love this. Access your ballot online. Any registered voter can use the online ballot marking program. Voters with disabilities can mark their choices on the ballot online. The online ballot marking program has been de designed specifically to enable voters who are blind or have low vision to cast a private ballot. If a voter's ballot is damaged or lost, the voter may mark their ballot on a computer and print it out, return it at a ballot drop box or by mail before 8 p.m. election day deadline. They give these ones extra scrutiny. They go through a different team. Okay. They go through a different team than uh, the regular paper ballot, but um, when you complete your ballot, you're going to fold it up like so, this end up, okay, and you take your you take your ballot and see official ballot. You take your ballot and you put it into the taco. What we call we call this a taco at the elections office. You put it into the taco like this. Okay. So when we get it, we're going to take it out, okay? But then you take the taco itself, after you put the ballot in there, you take the taco itself, where it says this end up, okay? Turn, turn your return envelope, and this is the way it's going to look. See, like that and these are the instructions but this is what it looks like and it goes in like that then you're going to sign and date okay no stamp is needed so don't let you don't let that keep you from sending in your ballot election day is November the 5th Okay, so that's how you're going to put it in there. Now, when, when we get it in the elections office, it's all together, okay? And we get stacks of 500 ballots. So we have on gloves, we put on Neosporin, then we put on gloves, then we get a bin of 500 and the Republican ballots are separated from the Democratic ballots. So they're not mixed in together. They're all separated. Okay. They use the Pitney Bowes machine to cut through the top of the envelope. So when we get it, we take out your ballot. Okay. We set these to side. You see that hole? See that hole in there? That's for a reason. We put that to the side. We do not throw it away. The next thing is we remove all ballots from the tacos. Okay, so that's taken out. See that hole? Okay, that's set to the side. Then we open the ballot. We're looking for any kind of flaws. If the Pitney Bowes machine cut, cut off, made a hole, if you used a pencil on your ballot and erased and it made a hole in the paper, we're looking for stains. 
We're looking for bug guts. We're looking for any kind of coffee stains or other spilling, spaghetti sauce, whatever. If there is any cuts or any uh, flaws in it, we set that to the side, okay? That goes to the Q&A group, okay? And we continue. The last thing that we do is we count these. We count them to make sure that we have the same number that we started with. If it's 500, we count for 500. If it's 250, we count for 250. We do this in groups of two, and then we switch. Then they count it, my, my stack, I count their stack. The next thing that we do, once we have all the, the these doohickeys counted, we take a little, it's a plastic tie, and we, we send it through all 250 tacos or all 500. Same way with this bad boy. And at the end of the voting or whatever, it's sent to Olympia. <laughs> to the Secretary of State's office. Okay? So, after this is perfect, great, then we put it in a stack. And then we turn it in to the front desk. And then they send it over to the scanners. Where each one of these are scanned and counted. Okay? Then we take the ballots. We take all the tacos. We take all of the envelopes. And they are archived. These become historical documents. These are historical documents so that your grandchildren, your great grandchildren, your great great grandchildren, your great 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 grandchildren can pull the archives for Washington State and see that you voted and what you voted for, what your political uh, beliefs were. They can look that up. This becomes a historical document that is archived in the state capitol. So, we're in a situation right now because a lot of people did not vote. I am uploading this to admonish you to vote this year. And if you have any questions in your state about how to do it, you can Google how to vote in my state, how to vote near me, how to register to vote. Okay? There you have it. Get out there and do it. Vote. Let's make a difference this time. Sitting on the sideline is never acceptable. Never acceptable. Vote every election. General election, special election, um... Every time. This is your responsibility. This is how you hold politicians accountable. This is your responsibility. Not doing it is unacceptable. Leave me uh, any questions or comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. Um, join notifications. Whichever one is your preference for all videos. And uh, you can also send me messages or whatever. Alright. Happy voting.